I jokingly coined the term hunger kicks because buying sneakers, it's extremely difficult these days unless you're going after something that's so mass produced, so easily available that it's everywhere. And those shoes have their place and I have a few of them, trust me. I have just basic white vans up there that I'm sure not a lot of people care about, but it's hunger kicks because let's just say you're not going after a van, right? Let's say you're not going after this and people will say, why not just change your preference of shoes? And instead said, you really want this though. You really want this shoe. There's nothing wrong with that. It was marketed by a brand to entice you to want to buy it. And there's nothing wrong with you wanting that shoe. But the reality is you're probably just not going to be able to get that shoe unless you pay that resale price. And listen, people will, uh, well, 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 we're at the point where it's, uh, oh, how to cop, right? It's how to cop. Or the question that everyone will ask, hey, are you copping that shoe? I don't even think that's a question to ask anymore. I'd, I'd, I'd laugh now. There's a dark sense of humor about it now. <laughs> when people reach out and ask me, hey, are you copping that shoe? And to myself, I think, you mean, am I gonna try to cop that shoe? Sure. Am I likely gonna get my hands on it? Absolutely not. And now that's the exact same thing with fear of God and streetwear. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and run. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Shoes Chains, which is not Nike really. Okay, we got the Curry who won the scoring title for this season. I'm super excited about that. But then also my mama mentality chain, worn always daily. And uh, also just like newsflash, like to throw this out there. Um, <laughs> there was a joke on Instagram. If you're not following me at talkstylewith.tj, you can follow me on Instagram there. And there was a joke that people were saying, hey, it really should be uh, talks with two jacked because of uh, me posting a picture of me flexing in the mirror flexing my back muscles so if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll shoot a picture up here so that you can see it but yeah if a lot of my fitness content is posted on there and no let me just dispel some things I'm not a trainer zero desire to be one no i'm not competing i happen to be lean i work towards that i maintain this body year round uh, a lot of work over the years and yeah i just like to flex and you know show the hard work sometimes but everybody was saying no nah, it's really talks with two jacked or the the j and tj stands for jacked uh but just talks with tj over here if you're brand new hit the subscribe button hit the like button truly appreciate it and we're talking hunger kicks and i don't know if i'm gonna coin the other term hunger drip like it like i don't know what to what to call it when it comes to clothes but let's just focus on shoes right now because i'll have friends that will reach out i feel like they're not really in the game like that anymore and that that's self-admitted by them and they'll say like oh Oh, they'll show me this shoe more specifically one of them showed me the kobe <laughs> the kobe 5 pro tro undefeated hall of fame and he's like this is amazing i have to have it I'm, I'm i'm getting this and i'm like that's so cute you think you're getting that that's so cute don't get me wrong a lot of you received emails from undefeated or you hit on sneakers uh app but I wasn't one of those fortunate individuals and I can guarantee you my friend wasn't either. And I know I'm not the only one that didn't hit. And this L for the Kobe, it just kind of hit different. Most times I am indifferent about not being able to hit because I don't get a chance. I, I just don't like, there's nothing special about me. I don't have some grand connection, even though I work at a sneaker store, I still don't have some grand connection to just be able to get all of these kicks, right? If you see me partner with a brand or a publication or something, I'm able to get sneakers. First off, you want to talk about legwork. There was years that went into creating and long hours and long days to have that rapport within the industry and the market to be able to even have that offered to me as an opportunity for me working at kids Foot Locker to be able to secure this hey i applied like a lot of other people so i would say if you want that opportunity apply but then again that's not a guarantee that i will have that shoe a lot of shoes we don't even get in the market anymore or we get them late and they're still just not accessible to myself so when it comes to sneakers they're not really accessible right now and i get it things change landscape has changed uh the pandemic had a lot to do with it but we are battling 
bots and resellers at every turn the people that you know damn well they're buying the shoe just to resell it they have zero intention of trying to do anything with it does that hurt it absolutely does <laughs> it absolutely hurts and you know that reality so then why is there the question of if you're gonna cop as if it's so easy to just walk into a store and cop like a lot of air force ones and you know all white lows are sold out a lot of times now so to ask the question like are you gonna cop i i just stop asking that question at least that's just from my perspective let's not ask that question D don't ask it from now on just say like do you hope to cop are you praying that you cop a pair because that's really what it is you're on a wing and a prayer that sneakers app helps you out i can't even enter raffles for a lot of you know sites so that doesn't help me at all or you people know like you you spend hours and hours on a saturday morning still trying to hit and it comes up short you, you don't get anything you have to head to the resale market just like i'm gonna have to do for the grinches and for the undefeated hall of fame pair and that part sucks what's even worse and you know you guys just want the shoes to wear right like like for example okay I know that SneakerCon Dallas is coming up and a lot of you just want shoes to wear out to places, to events, the world is open. You wanna rock these kicks there, okay? And you'll probably see the sponsor of today's video, Soul Prim is there, letting you guys know like, hey, if you traveled and you had nowhere to put your shoes, then what were you doing? Because you could absolutely just get a bag. You can get the Daily Commuter V2, you can get the five sneaker backpack, you can get the duffel bag, and you guys will see me talk about them, post about them, great quality. So if you haven't already picked that up, first off, what are you doing? Second, if you happen to be at Dallas sneaker con or sneaker con dallas however you want to say it anthony and the team will be there so say hey to them uh no just like i will not be there tons going on here at home so i will not be there but certainly go ahead have fun if you're present and i know you just want to wear your shoes to a places and events like if you're like me and you wear your shoes you don't just keep them dead stock in a box somewhere you want the opportunity to enjoy them and now when it comes to clothes like this was a conversation had on the kickback so if you're not familiar with that um it's an event that happens every friday night 8 15 eastern on twitter make sure that you are there okay and, and i usually hop in to the twitter spaces it's hosted by a uh, sneaker fetish which you guys know because i've mentioned him countless times on youtube so it's hosted by him and then also jazzy allen lord so great discussions are had there and they also do giveaways for gift cards like they gave away a 200 dollars i think foot action gift card uh the week before so tune into that if you just want to hear great discussions about sneakers resale the market streetwear a lot of different things and this past friday we were talking about the hot mess of a release specifically for Paxson, like I won't say that you know Essence was a mess because I was able to hit for three different items on there. Now, mind you, two were not brand new, but I was still able to hit on Essence. And we were just talking about Paxson and. When you have designers, you have brands and they know who their target audience is and they want their items in the hands of consumers, yet we're battling other forces in the market that just damn near make it impos impossible. And there were even people saying like, oh, well, we had the early link, so it wasn't an issue for us. Newsflash, I had an early link as well to get access and it was still cooked because somebody chose to share the link and bots got to it. And let me tell you how proud and out there these bots were, okay? They put it out there because everybody was saying like, oh, they hit on 50,000 pieces from the Fear of God Essentials drop. Wrong. They corrected everybody. They hit on a hundred thousand pieces. And I don't know if it was them necessarily, of course, that hit on kids clothing. But if you look at a kids essentials t-shirt in one of the gray colorways, the shirt retailed for $30 for a child. It is now reselling for $150 on Stock X. Are you kidding me? This is where we're at? Listen, parents have some sense. Let that let that clothing sit there. Let it sit. Don't buy it. Don't do anything with it. Let it sit. And when that price comes down to something reasonable because people can't move it, then maybe, you know, I, th I say then go buy it. But as a parent, and this is nothing never going to apply to me, but would I ever sit there and spend $150 on a kid shirt, especially if they're a size four through like eight? Do you know how fast those kids grow? They're not even going to be on that shirt. They're not even going to be in that item very long. So unless you got another kid, you're going to pass it down to or a niece or a nephew or a cousin. You just spent 150 for a very short amount of time. And that kid doesn't care that it says essentials. That kid doesn't care that it says fear of God. 
you just want to probably support a brand you love, support a black designer, support a minority designer, and have your kid look like you. Totally, I'm all for that, but that's just not even damn near possible. Uh, so listen, I want retailers, I want brands to do better. Don't tell me that you can't because Telfar found a way to work around that. And so there are ways that brands can do it. Again, I get it. A lot of them just don't care. They just don't give a damn. And I'm, I'm listen, I'm aware because I know somebody's going to comment that like the brands just don't care. You need to understand that. I get it. But I also get that that may uh, cause me to either totally abandon certain retailers like Paxson. Just, I'm going to be real with you. Like, I think Essence will be the move. I said this before. I, I don't even know why I was still trying on Paxson, but this really needs to be the thing now. I need to just head on over to Essence no matter what. Uh, enjoy the ease of shopping there. My items already shipped from Essence, both orders have already shipped. So I'll have those reviews up for you probably this week, God willing. I'll probably have them up this week, but I think I'm done with, with Paxson. I just, I just don't have time for the hassle. And for, you know, just the, the brand overall, part of me wants to start going back for other things because it's, it's more accessible and it's easier. I may have to pay a little bit more, but for the time and the hassle just to try to get something for retail, I'm better off paying a little bit more knowing it'll come to me with no problems, like no struggle. That's, that's kind of where I'm at and uh, exploring other things like, you know, uh, in terms of quality, right? If quality is what you're going for, top tier, that level beyond just the basic sweats or different things we buy, hell, I might start exploring John Elliott. Like, I'll be honest with you. I know that may not be for everybody, but I may start to explore that just to see if I like it just as much. I know I have a coworker that's really into that. So I don't know, just... I empathize and sympathize with all the frustration. And I know often I was a little bit indifferent in the past to sneaker L's and we know they're going to happen, guys. And we, this is just part of the landscape. Now, I was in my feelings about this Kobe. I was in my feelings about this Kobe. So you weren't alone. It was nice to see on Twitter. Uh, you can follow me there at underscore talks with TJ. It was nice to see I wasn't alone, kind of feeling some kind of way about that. And we'll just have to see where this goes. But it's... Um, it's a very unpleasant experience as just an everyday consumer. Like if you're just a parent, I feel for you just wanting to get your kids things that they may like, right? First off, it's thrown in their face and marketed to them ridiculously. But if you have a great kid as well, you may want to get them stuff. And now it's like, can you even get them the items without breaking the bank? Not really. Uh, it's just not, it's not anything enjoyable. So you can sound off in the comments. <laughs> Do you feel the same way? A lot of you have resonated that a lot of you have walked away from the game and I'm not mad at you. And I think it does take, you know, inaccessibility hitting something you really care about, like the, the frustration to cop fog for me. I think once it hits home personally for something you care about, it's just like, whoa, wait, like what is happening here? Uh, so sound off in the comments, just a talking head video, just a discussion. Uh, I just don't understand the whole, are you copping a sneaker when it comes out or are you copping X, Y, or Z? Cause chances are you're going to have to go through hell and high water to be able to cop that. That's just the reality, but act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.